So it seems like I'm starting my videos later and later every day. Look. Yeah, it's already nighttime. It's like 6 o'clock. Jimmy won't be off work till 11. Nothing really to do. I could make food. I could do like a cooking show. But there's not much here. Let's see, what do we have? Cheese, tomato juice, water, pickles, three jars of mayonnaise, parmesan cheese. Wait, these are the pickles, these are the olives. Sauce. Other cheese, mocha. Mountain Dew. Chicken wings. Waffles. Hmm. Not sure what I can make with those things. That'd be a cool idea for a website. You input which ingredients you have, and it says you can make this or this or this, and then you can get directions on how to make it. That would be cool. I just got an email from I Can Review It, which is a guy who's been commenting on a lot of my videos. And, um,. So that's pretty cool, but let's see, he said, on my last Jimmy's birthday video, he said, I don't know if you already do, but do you consider carrying a weapon like a compact handgun with you when you go geocaching? I mean, what if someone comes up to you and tries to start a fight? I know that's just a what if statement, it's just a thought that came to my mind. Amazing video, like always. So, thanks for saying that, and uh, I don't carry a gun, but I do carry a knife with me. When I go. It's a useful tool, and I guess if somebody did try and attack me, I would have a weapon and, you know, I'm not the kind of person who would stab somebody, but maybe it would scare them off if they saw that I was armed and, like, you know, whatever. So, I do carry a weapon with me. I use it more as a tool than a weapon, though. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the answer to your question. I went down to Ace Hardware and I got a couple of things. I got washers, two part epoxy, and oh yes, and this little container. And I will use the washers and glue them into a golf ball which has a hole drilled in it. See the washer glued down in there? And then you can take, let me find it, this little thing, this little container. Whoa. It's got a magnet. And basically then what happens, hole, this, sticks in won't come out. It's not stuck in there. And then you can go like to a, a golf course and take this and go like right outside the fence and set it down. And like in a bush so it's not hidden but then when somebody is looking for it they can be like oh it's just a golf ball and they'll look other places. But if you flip it over you have that and you go like and it comes out. And then uh, you're good. And you just put it back. Bam. So that's our cash container. It seems to work all right. With the the washer glued in there. I'm just gonna do some tests. See if I can get the washer out after it's been epoxied in. Just to see, you know, how durable it is. I'm gonna do that now. doesn't move. Still in there. 